Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurker spirits, welcome. So today's feminine school video will be addressing what has become an overwhelming and inseparable part of our everyday lives, especially during this pandemic. And that thousand headed monster of influence is called the power of social media and how it can make or break your feminine reputation when used recklessly and irresponsibly. Because as we all know, social media can be a great tool for networking and for business and for branding and for creativity and inspiration and a great tool for those who hustle and grind. But it can also be a major downfall for people who are aimless, attention seeking and trolling and argumentative and scammers and people who are deceptive and are looking to con and deceive and can also be a magnet for attracting every shade of low value man under the sun. And when it comes to your feminine output and your ladylike energy, it goes without saying that a book and a voice will always be judged by its cover. And social media can and will be a very harsh critic and a very brutal and unforgettable judge. And social media can literally break or make your reputation. So ladies, when it comes to protecting your feminine divine, protecting your reputation is worth its weight in high value gold. So one of the most important feminine lessons to embrace on your feminine journey is learning how to have the strategic skill set of controlling your feminine narrative with strategy and intention because a ladylike or elegant and or a feminine woman should always think twice before she hits the publish button because once that image or that video is released, you cannot put the social media toothpaste back in the tube and the public at large and their heat seeking missiles and their casual viciousness will always be ready uh, willing and able to pretzel twist to manipulate and to plot and destroy your image when the opportunity presents itself so please be very careful with what you post because your posts are considered a source of fuel and ammunition that can and will be used by others to malign you and to destroy your reputation. Ladies, when your social media is filled with unladylike uh, haphazardness, silly immature memes, and lots of low quality uh, TMZ, world star hip hop information, and this low frequency energy can literally make, break, or highly compromise your feminine and hypergamous journey. And the long lasting effect on your feminine reputation and your ability to be viewed as a high value woman can be disastrous. So ladies, your feminine reputation should be guarded with your life, whether TikTok, Twitter, Clubhouse, Facebook, or Instagram, social media is a very powerful narrative and a very powerful story because it is your story. And it is a super easy way for people to character assassinate others based off the way you speak and the things that you say and on how you say them and on the images that you put out there. So here are some strategic feminine ideas on how to carefully uh, curate your personal social media and on how to clean up your public persona for good. Uh, number one, only allow quality images of yourself to be published. Ladies, images should be clear and of the highest quality and yes, all backgrounds matter. So clean up your room, clean up your apartment, clean up your home and keep all things unsightly at bay because you will be judged critically and harshly. At uh, number two, stop sending nudes. Ladies, stop the people pleasing madness with men because revenge porn, whether he is a teenager or an old nasty man, is a common form of humiliation that butthurt, insecure, and low value men will use against you. And always remember ladies, that once an unflattering image of you is out there, it will be very difficult and costly and expensive and very challenging to scrape and scrub away. Uh, number three, do not allow your secret haters, your frenemies, or those who seek to undermine you to publish photos of you in an unflattering light. And do not allow people to publish photos of you without your permission, which is a common thing that happens with frenemies, as frenemies are always ready, willing, and able to highlight your flaws and to put your busted photos out on Front Street in order to make themselves shine. Number four, take down all images of your social media that are not a reflection of who you are now and where you want to be. 
as a feminine woman, you should be detoxing and deleting and refreshing your images at least once every six months as a rule and a standard. And I should not be seeing images of you that are older than three years. Number five, bad lighting, messy background, dirty car. Are you drunk? Do you look sloppy, messy, or unkempt? Are you thirst trapping, poor posture, yellow teeth, bad flashback? Was the image taken with a busted Android or an old VCR camera phone? Uh, do you use too many filters on your images? Are you ODing on Facetune? Take those low value images down now. And that also includes your nasty looking home cooked meals. Number six, are there any offensive or distasteful jokes, low brow memes, or have you bullied others on Twitter in the past? Are you an instigator, a rabble rouser, or a troublemaker? Delete any and all trails and evidence of social media nastiness because those offensive energies always have a nasty way of coming back to haunt you. Number seven, do not give ammunition. A lady does not give people ammunition or receipts. The minute you say something dumb or out of pocket, people will screenshot it and use it to assassinate your character and in many ways will use your old tweets as fodder to cancel you, to destroy your bag, and to get you fired. So please be very careful of the way you lace your words, particularly with using unladylike profanity. Uh, number eight, do not insult or talk bad about your boss on social media. Even when your boss is a complete douchebag or is a person that you would like to kick off of a cliff, never ever openly offend the person who is cutting your checks. Feminine women are not only beautiful, they are both strategic and intelligent. So if you are a person who does not enjoy your job, find a way to either be grateful for the job that you have or make a plan to get a better hustle. At number nine, be prepared to inspire envy and jealousy when your Instagram becomes elevated. When a woman is blooming in her feminine, not only will she shine, but it will make others very, very uncomfortable. So do yourself a favor and expect this. Because the higher a feminine woman goes in her feminine elevation, the thinner the air. Not only because that is the nature of success, but because when it comes to elevation, everyone cannot be saved or rescued and everyone will not be inspired. In fact, the opposite of success will usually inspire a jealousy, envy, insecurity, and competition. Number 10, be mysterious. Feminine women never give it all away as that is the surefire way to become a predictable one trick pony. So ladies, you do not have to share every aspect of your feminine life on social media. And as always, recognize the feminine power of leaving something to the imagination, especially when it comes to attracting and sustaining the attention of high value men. Number 11, Google yourself. Google yourself to see what's out there and try to get all unflattering images, voices, tweets, or videos of yourself removed. And finally, number 12, start over, make your page private or have a separate account for both business and one that is personal. Ladies, if you must destroy all traces of your old social media and start fresh by deleting all accounts. And you can always do what everyone else does by getting a Finstagram, which is a fake Instagram account that you can use to hide and lurk and scroll and judge. So that is all that I have to say on this for now, ladies. Uh, clean up your social media to reflect the woman that you are, the woman that is on the way, and the feminine woman that you desire to be. So ladies, have you ever had a friend or a friend of me post an unflattering picture of you and refuse to remove it? And how many of you who are listening need to clean up your online feminine presentation and discuss whether you liked or didn't like this video below and stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers in the next one.